Hey guys, and welcome to the first lesson for creating and animating character design for games. In this lesson, we're going to go through the general setup for Illustrator so that we can get ready to start our character designs. So to begin with, let's just take a quick look at how things are set up and what things might be useful to us when we get into the process of designing. Firstly, let's make sure that your Illustrator has the same workspace by going into Windows, Workspace, and then clicking on painting. Now the screen should look the same or at least very similar to what I have here. These tools to the left and the right of the screen will come really handy when creating our characters. So from here, we'll want to create a new document and we can do this by going on to the top left-hand corner of the screen and heading to file and clicking on new. Now it doesn't matter what size we create our artboard in Illustrator as it's a vector-based program, meaning that whatever images that we create, it will be scalable to any size without the loss of quality. This is the biggest advantage that Illustrator has uh, compared to bitmap images, which may require a specified resolution and will lose quality when scaled up. So for this demo, let's just use the standard size, A4 will be fine, and the rest of the settings you can leave as default. Click OK. And now you have everything set up. So let's just take a quick look at some of the tools we'll be using to help us get started with our character designs. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is the paintbrush tool. Select it by going to the nice little paintbrush icon to the left of the screen here, and by clicking on it. Or simply press B on your keyboard, which is the shortcut. This is the standard sort of brush tool that works in very much the same way as any other graphics program. So if you're familiar with the paintbrush tool in Photoshop, then this should be a piece of cake for you. Just simply click and draw straight onto the canvas to start creating some lines. You can also change the thickness of the lines by heading over to the stroke section at the top and by changing the number. The higher number indicates a larger brush stroke and the smaller number indicates a smaller line. Over to the right, we have some other options that we can play with here. Uh, you can play with the variable width and brush definitions to come up with some pretty interesting lines. So let's go ahead and pick this one. And you can see here straight away that the line has changed. You can continue to play with different style of lines that we have here, or combine it with the variable width profile to come up with some different style of lines. Further to the right, we can change the opacity of our line. And then back over here, we can also change the color. So that's it for the brush tool. The next tool that I'll show you is one that we'll be using for the majority of this course, and that is the pen tool. And you can select it by going over to the pen icon to the left here, and by clicking on it, or by pressing P on your keyboard. Whenever I work in Illustrator, this is my go-to tool when working in this program. The best way to get used to this tool is to just play with making some paths first of all. So let's make sure that our pen tool is set up correctly by going up here and making sure that it's set to stroke and that there's no fill. So you can see here, uh, it's a bit like join the dots. You create one dot and then make another one and a straight line appears to connect the two. If you don't want a straight line, just click and hold the next dot and you'll see that you can start curving the line. One of the best things about this tool is that if you're not happy with the curvature of the line, you can use these handles and you can manipulate them afterwards until you're happy with it. Once you're familiar with creating lines, the next thing we're going to look at is creating shapes. Just simply click here to switch from strokes to fills and then start creating filled shapes. You can also combine the two and have filled shapes with a stroke around it. Now the last tool that I'm going to show you in this video is the add anchor point tool. 
to select this, simply go to the pen tool, hold it down, and then select it. What this does is it adds another anchor point for you to manipulate. So if you wanted to create another edge here, for example, you would do so by clicking, by using the anchor tool and then clicking on the line uh, and then just using the white selection tool to pull it out and manipulate it. So that's it for the introduction to Illustrator. In the next video, we'll start using these tools to create and sketch your character. See you there.